Eat kitty cat. Wow. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Should be a quickie little episode. Um, got a little interrupted last time by the whole teleporting doggy thing. Uh, and But I have a hole in the ground here and I want to try something real quick. This should be this should be super quick and let's grab some stuff here what do I need I need this I need this I got that and that okay let's uh, let's head on down there woohoo all right so this is as I believe was mentioned intended to be a squid farm so let's uh, let's do some let's do some building here Hey, don't fly on me. Oh, slow down. Okay, so here we are at the top and I have this redstone block here. And I think one, two, one, two, uh, three, up, one down, bump, three, four, four. Okay, so. The idea here, oh, this is dumb. I should not have come up at this this particular point, but we'll uh, we'll make it work, right? Because that there, and now take myself fence gate, put the fence gate on top of the block and open it. Now I can get rid of all this dirt, and I have to place in some more more blocks okay let me let me get this first one taken care of uh, how do I do this Put this here oh no ah okay that's fine so why redstone you might be asking yourself that would be a perfectly reasonable question uh, my understanding is that they changed the way aquatic mobs behave in in water now. And it used to be that you would always do this with glass. And so the mobs, when they're in glass, would go and uh, they'd swim around and, and they if they had an opportunity, to swim into deeper water, they would do so, but uh, otherwise they would end up falling. And we want to minimize that opportunity. So I'm gonna break that glass there and I'm gonna dig out that. Now, this should be a perfectly, perfectly serviceable squid farm at this point, I believe. Uh, let's go pick up that dirt. And then I have to get far enough away from here that the squiddies might want to spawn. But they should be able to fall down through there. And I'm doing this kind of, I'm, I'm making a guess that this will work similar to the way the guardian farm works in that you only need a few blocks for the, the squids to spawn in. They will spawn farther down, but then I'd have to dig a deeper hole. And, and I didn't necessarily want to do that. So what I'm thinking is this space here should be good because there's not a lot of water around. And if I go, if I go over away from that corner and away from over there, Squiddy should feel like, oh, I can spawn here, and then they will fall to their death. That's the general idea, at least. So, and I did confirm that they do not require uh, sky access to spawn, and if I give this here, right, I go boop, that'll keep things from 
spawning on this on these redstone blocks so I'm going to build out a few of these and then hopefully we will start to actually see squid spawning at least that's the that's the hope that's the theory and let's see and in my test I sort of built a bunch of these along like the next tube was right here and so on and I'm thinking I might experiment a little bit with staggering them to maximize the number of spots here and probably put another one of these right there so nobody falls to their death yeah let's try that let me build a few more of these and let's see if we get some spawns so I've got seven spawning chambers in here and I don't think anything I don't think I've gotten any squiddies spawning yet but Barb makes things is on so she might be taking up mob cap depending where she is so I'm not gonna worry about this too much and it's in the middle of the night goodness so I have to repair some stuff I'll probably uh, wander around a bit and meow, hello kitty and uh, I've been trying to preserve this the, this village over here even though it's kind of a ghost village but there is some water here but these are not valid spawning spaces for squids I don't think this seems dark here what kind of light level do I have nine oh, it's, no that's 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 bearable nine yeah, nine, nine. Okay, they're fine. So I may decide to go and take out this water here. Um, haven't really used any of this. This here is valid squid spawning space. That's no good. Oh, things look funky because I have. Because <laughs> I, why did I do that? Uh, video video settings smooth lighting maximum I was I turn off smooth lighting to, to check light levels and stuff makes light levels pretty obvious when they're when they're low why is that not tilled okay. I don't know we'll see and though and all that over there might be far enough away from this to not matter and I don't think meow, I don't think I have uh, any extra water around underground here but I have to go making sure that I don't uh, why redstone I think I started to talk about that and then got distracted so I understand, as I understand it, redstone is a semi-transparent block, meaning it's good for spawning, but it will cause the water to next to it flow down and will hopefully push the squids out. Um, if this ends up not working, of course, I'll tear the whole thing out. It's not super important, but um, I did try this in a in a creative testing world and it's uh it was working of course I went more than four deep I don't know we'll see as I said Bart makes things is on she might be taking up some of the mob cap so I'm not uh, I'm not gonna worry about this too much for the time being but we'll build that I'm uh, I'll build out a little bit more and we'll just maybe build out a, a full row or something I was doing a grid of single wide spawning spots and in, in testing that seemed to work just fine. And so I can stagger them like this. I'm going to need a lot more redstone if I'm going to do it out of redstone. Uh, because each one takes up uh, eight blocks of redstone because they overlap with the ones next to it. But I don't know. We'll see. This might work, might not. We'll find out and hopefully though this can be a reasonable source of ink uh ink sacks it can be used as dye for the 
cement shop. So anyway, I think that's uh, I think that's all I was trying to accomplish here. Uh, a short episode, but we'll uh, we'll see. Standing right up here, of course, no squid are going to spawn nearby me. I have to be out of the way, probably around out over here at the minimum. So I'll play around a bit and we'll see. And huh, interesting. And uh, we'll see. And it may help to build out more of it, but uh, we will find out. So anyway, I think that's it. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time, hopefully with a bunch of uh, ink sacks. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.